All right, guys, today we're playing Jax in the top lane. I'll be showing you guys the best item to rush right now on Jax, uh, which, believe it or not, very tiny people do. It's broken. I would recommend it. Going Blade on Jax. Now, quickly going over the uh, runes for Jax, I would definitely recommend going for Conquer, uh, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End. I would also definitely recommend going for Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tonic. Along with this setup, you also want to take Corrupting Potion because it will combine together with Time, uh, Time Warp Tonic perfectly. Now, what surprises me, this is the, the biggest one. Uh, most people that play Jax are going for Trinity Force or to find Sunner when they build their first item. But what people don't realize is that Blade on Jax as a first item is probably the most cheesy setup you can probably go for. It's ridiculous. I've already played it multiple times and it always shows again and again like how strong it is. I'll show you. Let's try. Just a tiny short trade in between. This is actually a good matchup for us, but we have to play it smart. Hmm, I think we might actually get a gank by Ekra soon. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. This is worth for me. Definitely worth for me. When we get level 3, we can kill him actually. Or, I think he's already dead. Yep. That was a nice game by Echo, to be honest. He came down at the perfect timing when I when we had like a really good trade-off on Lee Sin. Now we're going to be holding the wave like this. Uh, Lee Sin is currently running TP, so I'm expecting him to actually teleport here. Seems like he's been holding it right now. Good. Bring it on. It's definitely favored for me now. I still have two crouching potions. So we don't have to worry about that either. Nice. I'm going to use one of my Crotty Potions now. It's on. When we get level 6 in this matchup, it's going to be, it's going to be great for us. Uh, I think we're actually getting another gank right now. Wait. Hold on a second. We can kill him again. We got him. Yep. 10 HP. Okay. He tried chasing my jungler. He nearly got my jungler with that play though. Uh, he does actually have TP, so he's going to come back again, I think. But no fear, because we also have our own TP. We can just push this wave and then we come back again. Seems like he TP'd, which is smart. He's holding his Q. Alright. I'll backward real quick. We're about to get my next item right now. I'd rather not trade him now because he definitely has the uh, the Doran's Blade advantage over me. We don't have any corrupting poisons anymore, so... We're going to go with a Record of Bow here. And I'll get a Long Sword as well. We have to be very careful about Ivern though, because he hasn't shown on the map yet. Hmm. Yeah, like I like I said. Like I said, guys, I sort of had an idea that Ivern was gonna to be topside because he hasn't shown on the map yet. He was probably farming out the entire jungle. He also had Lee Sin walking up to us, so it was quite obvious he was going to do that. Hmm. I think he's probably maxing his E right now. Alright. Holding my E just in case. I can't wait to reach level 6. Honestly, it's going to be great for me. Still have my E. If he jumps now, he's dead. Oh, Ivern's here again for another round. Seems like he's like camping me as well. 
Actually, I could kill Lee Sin with one combo, literally. Bring it on. We're about to reach level 6 right now. Hmm. He's in this position where I could walk into him and just kill him instantly, but... Then again, I'm not really sure where Ivern's going to be. It's pretty likely that Ivern could walk in and just gank me when, uh, when I get my chance. Hmm. He's about to reach level 6. It's on. Close. Oh, he actually burst me with his E. Oh, man, that's actually really smart. I actually took, like, I think two tower shots uh, when I when I went for that trade. And I think he also placed that, like, one point extra into his W because his shield was pretty massive as well. Ah. That's really unfortunate. But I think that we're still fine regardless. I think that our lane is fine the way it is right now. It's kind of unfortunate that I died against Lee Sin here to try and make this play, but... Eh, unfortunately. Bring it on. Perhaps if I was able to, to uh, while popping my E, if I also used my ultimate at the same time, I might have been able to tank up his E. Could have been a chance. I was a little tiny too slow at activating my ult there when I was uh, working around with my E. Let's place a ward down here. Alright, level 6 is fun. Because now it comes down to uh, to mixing up my, uh, my level 6 passive together with the traits. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Sold out the wave with my E. Nice. Seems like we're getting a gank as well. Ah, he's gonna get away this time. Yeah, he's gonna get away. We'll just keep freezing it. We have life steal as well. Lots of ganks by my Joan this game. Going back again, every single time you trade Lee Sin, make sure to get like two auto attacks on the creep so you can max out your damage in a short trade combo, right? So once again, you make it to level 6, you get the third uh, third auto extra damage. You just throw in like two auto attacks on the creeps and then you go for the trade. It's the best way to do it. I got him. There we go. We overpower him at this point. Shouldn't be that difficult anymore. And we push as hard as possible. Like I said, we don't have to worry about what happened earlier. It's unfortunate that I died earlier, but it's not going to mess up my lane. We need like 100 gold. To be able to get my item, if we can get our hands on this item, it's it, it's it's going to be over for Lee Sin. Great, we got it. Now we go back to base. Uh, Lee Sin is probably going to walk in any time now. He could even get platings if he wants to. If he shows up now, I'll have to cancel my backboard. Okay, we can we can run. The next wave is going to arrive right now. It's going to... If he if he pushes, it's going to arrive somewhere here. So, you don't have to worry. It's on. Seems like he's actually, like, holding the wave like this. He's, like, building it up very slowly. Uh, Ivern is bottling while this happens, so we don't have to worry about uh, what he's doing here. We've got the item now, so we just have to all-in lease him. Gotta be careful though, because he can still burst us with his combo. Hmm. Let's try. I knew he was gonna do that. Thank you very much. Now we push. Still have my crossing potions, didn't even use one in that fight.
Great. Now we get more plates. We get the second one. Maybe even we, we might even be able to get a third one, but I'm not sure what uh, what Lee Sin's TP is. The I'm not sure what the timer is. His TP should be back up now. Yeah. Oh, that's not very good for me. That's not looking that great for me. Uh, but we could still kill him. Hmm. Seems like he's actually freezing it. Smart. I'm not going to take that. Uh, I'm not going to risk it too much. We're getting a gank by Lulu right now, so we might still be able to. Seems like Ivern is also down here. Nice. They're going to show up right now. Let's see if I can bait out. Let's see if he's going to fall for it. He doesn't fall for it, actually. Or does he? Is he going to fall for it? Yeah, he's not going to fall for it. <laughs> I had this feeling already. He could just jump away anytime he wants. It's not going to work out. Okay, time to back up. We're going to go with Steel Caps this game. We could also go for Mercs against Cassidy because I'm worried a lot more about him. But uh, we could just go for Mercs now. I mean, just the tier 1 boots. And we can already start building towards the first item, which I think is going to be this one. We don't really have to go with the fine sonar this game because they don't really have tanks in the game. Like Leasing could go tanky, but doesn't matter. Ivern, nothing to worry about. Cassidy, similar story. We don't have to worry about them. So we're just gonna go Trinity. We're gonna go with like a split pushing build this game. Hopefully we can get um, get ahead in farm at some point in his leave. We're currently ahead of like 20 CS, and I'm hoping for it to be a lot more soon. I don't just want to like win the lane against Lee Sin. I want to try to get really far ahead of him. Which is going to be done like after the lane. I think he's going to come back with like an Iris Spike. I think. Let me at him. Let's try. Let's try. got to be careful about Lee Sin's E. Like, that does the most damage here. I think he's maxing his W, though, because he has, like, a massive shield when he pops W. The Jono could spawn it here. Nice. Now we take him down. We got him. We could just push this as well. Okay. Casting was down here, cleaning him up. Okay. Oh, I could have killed Casting actually. I gave him like a chance at running there for a second. Ooh. We could have actually killed both of these guys. Hmm. Not the best play in the world. Could have been... I might even have been alive if I killed both of them. Because my triumph would also proc. But... Eh, whatever. We got one kill at least. I definitely need mercs right now. I'm just going to sell this right away. I'm thinking about getting mercs... Uh, I mean, uh, red trinket right now. Just for splitting... But I think I'll rather keep the yellow trinket just for now. So far, we are really far ahead of Lee Sin. I don't think he's going to be that useful uh, anymore. Like, Lee Sin is going to fall off mid late game, so. I would be very happy this game if I could get, like, a blue buff from them uh, for farming and everything. about this guy 
Oh, Hyperin's also down here. Hmm. Oh, it seems like this guy's still down here. I couldn't jump. Oh, my Q was like two seconds, man. It was looking so good. Like, that Kassadin was falling back. I couldn't really see that there was other people down here because I had no vision. And Kassadin wasn't necessarily, like, walking up as if there were other people. So I was hoping he was actually alone here so I could just pull, like, a full combo. But... I apparently seen was also there. I can't TP in like 10 seconds. Wait. Yeah, this is looking good for us. We got this guy. Oh, and we're, get we're about to get the ADC. We could dive her. Ash might have the ultimate ready. So we'll have to be careful about this. Let's see if there's a blue buff that we could take. Yep. We could take this one. Another camp. And we go back top and we farm out pretty much everything. Seems like Kassin is also coming top side, so we can stay here for too long. Nice. Uh, before we push this, I'll just go back to my own jungle camps. Because we're it's kind of risky to move up here since we don't have vision on them again. It could it might be able, it might happen again if we go down there. Ascobar2, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the Cell family. Thank you so much. We might actually be able to make a really good fight right now, but we have to defend this first. Because there's these guys here. One more wave and we go back. We're like 60 CS ahead of Lee Sin right now. Good. I'd like to get this camp here too, actually. Oh, it's already been taken by Lee. Okay, we go back right now. We got Trinity Force. So our next, you know, next time we all in, we should be able to 1v1 any of them. We're really far ahead right now. Let's go mid lane. This Cassidy is growing like huge right now. Oh, he died. Nice. Special the next wave. Apparently, there's two people down here. Doesn't matter. Oh. Well, now it matters. Need to get cheesed by an Ash ultimate. Trinity is going top to farm that out, so... I would like to farm this out, actually, but... I'll give that to my Joner. All of them are alive right now. Let's nice try. By pushing mid lane, we're basically opening up the map so we can do other stuff. I'm expecting people to be topside right now, actually. I'll take this one. It's, sp it's spawning like any second now. Is this guy down? This camp is alive right now. Trinity is going to take it already. Bring it on. Uh, we can kill Jinx right now. She's down here. She won't be able to run. This guy's dead. 
I think we can kill all of them. Thank you. Yep, and he gets some. Great. If this is just Lee Sin, then I don't mind. Yeah, it's just Lee Sin. Uh, he can still burst us, so we have to life a little bit. Definitely not going to get hit by one of his Qs. Oh, that's another Ash ultimate right there. <laughs> Let's try. This is the beauty when you play Jax. You can burst down people as well. Uh, if you do it properly with your passive and your EW with auto Q at least. If you don't do that combo properly, you, you it's going to be hard. Now, for the people that are, you know, never playing Jax in life ever. Uh, if you actually all in people with Jax, uh, just going back to the basics for a second. If you ever trade your opponent, guys, all right, you play something like Jax. Do not ever QW in mid air, if you know what I mean. Do not do not just mix up your W mid air, right? What you want to do instead is just Q into auto and then W, so you can get the max out of it, right? That's like an entire like auto attack that you're missing out from if you don't do it properly. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Let's go. Let's go bot lane. It gets scary when they're all being grouped up. Because then they're really strong. Could I get my team to group up as well in moments like this? The best we can do is to split on the side lanes with our TP up. And when a fight starts, then we just TP towards it. Because we can we can one the one cast it in lease in all the others pretty easily, especially because our Q is already maxed out. Two people of them are topside. We, I don't think anyone's gonna be here. Let's see if I can take another wave. Got another tower. All of them are mid lane and top side. Nice. We could try to flank Jinx here, maybe. We don't have a lot of mana anymore, so. Oh, we could kill this guy right now. Only problem is that we don't have much mana. Got him. Perfect. Now, before we do anything else, uh, we go back to base. I will buy Sterex Gauge. I think our next item, we could probably go for a Wit's End for more attack speed as well as like splitting. Uh, or... Mm, we could also go with Guardian's Angel. Surprise. It's probably the safest way to go. For the upcoming team fight. I'll TP this one. I'm not sure if they uh, if they see this. No. Oh, nice Ash ultimate right there. Okay, I'm definitely not going to fight that. We're just backing out. That was not looking very good for us. I would like to get this one though. They can't do anything on the team with me. We should be doing Baron at this point. Would be way better. Bring it on. 
Got Trinmere bot lane against Cassidans. They don't have TP. So. If the enemy team tries to walk in, we will fight them. So from now on, once again, like we like I did before, we're just going to be splitting all the time. Uh, try and get as many caches as we can. I could flash this. Should I do it? Uh, never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna save up my flash. I'm not gonna waste it like that. Cause if I if we kill Jinx now, it's not gonna make a change anyway. <laughs> I could have done it. It was looking good, you know. It's a flash four. But she would spawn like the moment that the dragon spawned, so. Let's push this, this wave. And then we go to the Drake afterwards. We got Baron buff, so. Either we go Drake right now and help them out, or we just push top. Uh, two people are topside right now. I would like to take the walls for myself, actually. It's about to spawn right now. Yep. Bring it on. Got it. I want my team to go mid lane. Here we go. It's just Jinx. There's one guy bot lane and one guy mid. We just burst her down like so quickly right now. She has no chance at all. I don't even have to pop my ultimate for the for for the tower. That's an ult from Ivern. Hmm. We could engage. We could flash in and just jump on them, but I, I, I'll just let my team go in first. Oh, this is bad for me. There we go. Oh, he's actually getting away with that? Wow. Oh. No problem. I'll get away. I still have my E. Didn't have to use it. Two point seven K gold to spend right now. I will go back to base again. We got TP up, but nothing is happening anyways. But let's get the Guardian Central here. We have one more item we can buy, and I'm thinking about getting wits and specifically uh, just for Cassin right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. It's gonna help. Cassadin is Cassadin hurts right now. This guy's about to reach level 16. He's gonna be massive, right? If we go for Wit's End, he's not gonna do that much damage on us anymore. And it also gives us attack speed, and it allows us to split again. So, Surprise, perfect item as the final item. We could also go for Death Stance for Jinx and Lee Sin uh, and Ash. But we don't necessarily need that because Lee Sin is really not that strong. Uh, Jinx is nothing really to worry about, in my opinion. As long as we, you know, stay away from her. Oh, that's this guy here. Oh, I got Guardian's Angel, so I can live for a while. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Like, I'm, I'm literally diving uh, pretty much all of them. I'm taking years to go down, man. <laughs> they have no chance at all. Okay. Let's see the damage. Let's see how much we've done. I think for the damage, I think we've done like maybe 30k damage. I'm not sure. We've been trading Lee Sin a lot. We've been fighting a lot in this game. So I think it has to be like something like 30k. 
Uh, let's give it to this guy. Okay. Oh, leveling up as well. Let's take a look and see. Uh, yeah, we've done 32k damage, actually. And for the runes, this is what we've been using, guys. This is pretty much the best Jax runes you can go for, guys. Uh, I, I've, I've made some videos for Jax with Grasp as well. But this is, you know, Conqueror Page with Time Warp Tonic. This is as basic as you can go for. It doesn't really matter what matchup you're up against. This is pretty much what you will play majority of the time. So, copy these. Uh, before we end this YouTube video, guys, uh, this game was being played live, live on stream. Uh, I pretty much stream on a daily basis every single day. So definitely don't forget to check it out. I'll place a link below the uh, description, below the video. But yeah, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.